what is up there welcome back to leslie jones terror this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac signs it is finally freaking friday y'all like, uh, all right let's do a general reading here let's see what is going on how do i want to do this general reading which is oracle all right let's see which is oracle what message do you want scorpio to know at this moment also i had cash apps yesterday i shouted you out in the uh community board, but I'm not going to post y'all's uh, cash up names and stuff like that anymore just to protect y'all. Um, I don't want anybody to get scammed or anything like that, but I will shout out your name in there. So thank y'all again for the cash app donations. What's going on with Scorpio? Okay, so we got moon cycles and dedication here. Okay, so some of y'all have been doing your moon rituals, okay? You've been manifesting something. I just heard closing chapters. So some of y'all been closing chapters of your life, yep the clearance so that you can uh, allow in this prosperity to come into fruition here. Some of y'all, y'all might've like cleaned your house during the last moon, like, you know, like a clearing of some sort, or you may be doing that with the next moon coming in. Security in summer. Yeah. Security in summer. I see Something about like you cleaning the house, like letting go of old things, letting go of things, really stepping into this feminine energy. You got the lady goddess, which is like the empress energy here. Stepping uh, the divine feminine energy here. It's like you're stepping into attracting things, no longer chasing things. A lot of you are attracting money in abundance. And so it's like maybe you got the... Maybe you got the download that you needed to clear things out. Some of y'all went to your altar, you know what I'm saying? You might have gotten a download and your ancestors, angels, and guys told you you needed to clean house. I actually did this, y'all. I actually did this now that I think about it. I did this last weekend. I did this last weekend and I came across some old paperwork that was attached to... Uh, my ex and I grabbed that shit and took that shit over there real quick, y'all. <laughs> it was in my son's back. It was in the uh the closet on the other side of the house, and I found. It. I was like, wow, I I didn't know this was here because y'all know uh things hold energy, okay? So maybe some of y'all knew that, and that's why you were clearing house. Some of y'all y'all are like clearing out energy so that y'all can welcome in new things as well. Let's see, what else is going on with Scorpio that Scorpio needs to know? Look, yeah, gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah. So you're showing gratitude for the things that you do have. So say you have been clearing things out. You know, you've been letting go of things. I'm seeing like a house, like a crowded house. Some of y'all have been letting go of some of that stuff and really just saying, okay, I'm grateful for everything I have. You know, some of y'all, maybe y'all been holding on to like extra things that you know you don't need to be holding on to. And you're finally let it, letting it go. That could be anger, resentment, um, that betrayal, that sadness, that heartbrokenness, you know, stuff like that as well. But I feel like it's um, you're looking at things from a different perspective. Like, you know what? Thank you for allowing me to go through that. It was a lesson that I needed to learn in order to grow, in order to evolve here. We got the self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah. Some of y'all are stepping in again to that divine feminine energy here. Get in. It's like a new vitality, a new look on life. That's like that solar plexus chakra. So it's like a new look on life. Like, you know what? My life isn't as bad as I thought it was. I, there, I have so many things to be grateful for. So I see that happening for you as well. So let's see here. I may only upload two videos this morning because I'm running a little behind, but I will definitely record later today, um, with it being Friday. Okay. Now let's see. Clarify the cycles card. Or Scorpio clarify cycles. Yeah, spiritual strength. Look at y'all. This is the wounded warrior energy here. This is also your ancestors guiding you, protecting you, pushing you towards things that, that you need to go through here with the spiritual strength. Some of y'all have been through so much. And I see you still like it's like each some of y'all, y'all do it like each moon cycle. Y'all release things. And it's it it it's like you feel lighter, you feel weightless. You know what I'm saying? Like you you're realizing that you need to release stuff because when you hold on to things, it just makes it triumphant success. Ace of Swords, it just makes it hard on you. It's burdens that you carry. And you're realizing, I don't need to carry these burdens. 
These are burdens of my ancestors, burdens of my family, burdens of generational curses, you know, burdens of people that I didn't ask to carry, you know. Give me more. What's going on with the cycles energy? Yeah, deception and envy. Some of y'all is past hurt, past pain, where somebody might have deceived you, lied to you, mistreated you in some sort of way here. This could be family members, parents, lovers, whatever, friends, whatever. I see you like releasing that, filtering that out of your life. And it's like this piece of calmness comes over you as you do this. Look how calm he is walking as his ancestors protecting him, not allowing nothing to fall and, and injure him. It's like this piece of calmness. I see y'all letting go of things. This is good. What's going on with Scorpio? Give me one more. What's going on with Scorpio? Yeah, movement choices and decisions. So I just seen like, the way I seen it was like a post on Facebook or something. Like maybe somebody was saying some stuff and you were like, they could be bored. They could just be wanting attention or they could just be wanting, uh, wanting you to react. But I see you choosing like a different way to react to things. Like either you're not paying attention to it or you're going to ignore it. This could be people. People could be contacting you, reaching out discontent and boredom here with the chariot card it's like you've overcame all of this stuff before already and it's like there could be some people that may just get a little bored that ain't got nothing to do that's still trying to like come at you or say certain things just to get under your skin mm -hmm. they may be going through a hardship in their life here and see so you know uh, went into solitude away from them or they're going through a hardship on their own and now they want to like come pick at you because they see you doing better off judgment because they might have misjudged you here this could also be people that deceived you and now that they thought you were going to be down forever and now they want to come back D the tower disruption yeah patience and planning they may want to come back and get the blueprints of how you navigated through what they put you through you see what i'm saying ain't that some shit <laughs> okay let's clarify this here for my scorpios Clarify the spiritual strength for my Scorpios. All right. Clarify spiritual strength for Scorpios, please, Spirit. Eight of Wands. It's coming out sideways, okay? So the Eight of Wands is telling me somebody definitely wants to communicate, or you might have been hesitant on moving forward here, but I see you doing it. If it may not be as quick as you're wanting it to go, but you're definitely making progress with this Eight of Wands because that means it's like you're making a movement. Maybe you stop for a little bit. Maybe you're making a movement. It's like, you know, you go on vacation, you, you drive, and then you stop to take a, a, rest, a restroom break. <laughs> That's the type of energy I'm getting from this card with it coming in sideways here. So maybe, yeah, Queen of Cups, Page of Swords. And it could be because you're you're a very loving, caring person. You know, when you're moving on from certain situations, you're trying to move towards the future, you're trying to heal and things like that. You might have like started healing and then you look back to check if somebody's going to, you know, come with you or walk with you or, or, or love on you. You realize that people, the only people you had was yourself. Oh, that sounds so sad, y'all. But let me tell you, some, some of the strongest people have walked by themselves. Let me tell you, I walked by myself for a long time. And y'all, it may be stronger than ever. So if you are feeling like you're walking by yourself, that's okay. That is okay because when you start receiving your blessings, you know who was there. It's easy to determine who was there for you to be 100 with you. You know what I'm saying? Who was truly there for you because they cared. You know what I'm saying? So just know that. Just know that. Four of Wands and the devil, yeah. Some of y'all, um, you may be like, on the edge of if you want to let go of a relationship or move or relocate, like you're kind of going back and forth, but it looks like it's toxic wherever you are. Nine of cups, you're not happy. You want your wish fulfillment. It could be because you don't have the, <clears throat> excuse me. It could be because you don't have the money or the funds to move yet. And you may be trying to get the, get that money to move. But I see y'all kind of being in a situation where you're ready to kind of get the hell out of Dodge type of energy because you want to be happy. You want to be single you want to be in this wish fulfillment energy. Some of y'all, this could be a relationship where you're ready to leave it, but you don't quite know how to leave. It could be some codependency there. You know, maybe you depended on that person to pay half the bills. Do you pay half the bills? Or um, you've been used to that person because y'all have known each other for so long. But I see you releasing it to be happy on your own here. Give me another one for the spiritual strength for Scorpio. Q. 
king of swords yeah you ready to cut somebody off you're thinking logically head over heart decision nine of wands energy coming out again this could be a situation where you've been in you kept trying and trying and trying and trying and you're exhausted like you, you're you have you're not giving up you're the wounded warrior you not took on a lot but see you've been healing and you starting to look at stuff from a different angle see all these battles you not had now you got a little bit of protection you see what i'm saying and as King of Swords, you're thinking things logically. This is a conversation that's going to be had. Some of y'all, if y'all going through a divorce or something like that, this King of Swords is like your lawyer stepping in for you, handling things for you where you don't have to feel like you're on your own. They're taking care of the legality sides here. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yeah. So that you can be happy again, so that you can build a home that you really want. Strength card here. So that you can have a, a, a strong foundation. Like that's what you're wanting. Maybe where you are now is not strong enough. It's not secure enough here. Some of y'all, y'all could be getting counseling. Maybe trying to rebuild your connection or your relationship. Give me another one that's seven of pentacles. Yeah, because you're looking at where you've been investing your time, your energy. Is it worth it? I see somebody with an apology page of cups here. It could be someone you're married to in a connection with, something like that. I see somebody wanting to offer love offer, wanting to, wanting to apologize here. Two of Wands, Knight of Wands. I don't know if you're going to... Hmm, you may feel stuck about this because you got two and two, so you're very indecisive about this, or somebody was very indecisive, and uh, they chose to move towards something else, another love interest. The lovers and the two of swords, you it might have made you feel stuck. Five of swords here because they didn't care about your feelings or your emotions. They kind of just went off on a whim and did their own thing here. And to make sure they were happy and kind of left you, you know, ten of swords here in the dark. This is like that ultimate betrayal. It could have caused a lot of conflict in your life. Like this person could have chose to go in a different direction and it brought conflict. Like you had to fight people off. Like maybe this person, Knight of Wands is player energy. Maybe this person has brought many, many people into y'all's connection. And like you finally was like, damn, enough's enough. I can't do it no more. Yeah, five of cups. But somebody has regrets for all of this betrayal, backstabbing, deceit here. Ace of swords. Somebody wants some clarity, want to overcome this here. This could have been you. You could you could just have regrets like, damn, I can't believe I, I overstayed. Like I should have left a long time ago. And now it's like this person's deciding to leave and they don't care how you feel. They're just doing what they want to do because that's what they want to do. They don't care how you feel about it. They don't care if you're heartbroken. They don't care if, you know, some people can just be nasty sometimes. You know, the way, it's not the way you leave a relationship. It's not, it's not, it's not that you leave a relationship or you break up or separate from someone. It's the way you go about it. If you go about it being trifling, conniving, going behind people back, intentionally hurting that person you know to in order to leave to go somewhere or to make that person leave baby that's that's uncalled for if you want to leave leave don't don't sit there and 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 use that person as a placemat until you find somewhere else you want to be you know that that's that does a lot of damage to somebody that happened to me that does a lot of damage to a person you know what i'm saying because you got that person sitting there doing everything in this connection and then here you are you know, they putting off people they want to date. They putting off things in their life to make sure that they are open and available to you. You know what I'm saying? And then, long and behold, when you decide you really want to settle down, get in a relationship, you go to a completely different uh, person. And now you know mistreated this person over here and cheated on them, you know, betrayed them, that went behind their back, and allowed this person to disrespect this person. And, you know, all kind of stuff. It's just, it's the way you go about it, you know? It's okay to leave somebody, but you just got to do it in a respectful way, especially when there's children involved. Just, just saying. Clarify deception and envy from my Scorpio. Whoa. What's this? Six of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. So, <laughs> no wonder they pissed. <laughs> so, whoever this was that created this deception and envy, you still came out victorious. Six of Wands energy. You overcame, you conquered, okay? They didn't realize that you were gonna be strategic. See, you've been doing stuff in the in the in the dark while they was doing all this deception. This person could have been like throwing, you know, throwing all kind of shit at you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to knock you off your rocker. But what they didn't realize is you might have been a nobody to them, but you was a somebody to a whole lot of people. 
and you came out very victorious. Other people noticed you. They recognized you. They supported you. They uplifted you here. You With this deception, you was working on something here. Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Look at there. Confident, King of Cups, emotions, balance. And your singles energy here. With this Nine of Pentacles, this pre-Empress energy. See, you've been in solitude working on yourself. Oh, I love it. I love it, Scorpio. You've been in solitude working on yourself. Your emotions are stable. They're not all over the place. See, a lot of times people get to playing with your emotions. And, you know, as a water sign, you get manipulated and, and stuff like that. And people lie to you. and do, Like, your emotions, if you can't control them, like, you'll, you'll, you'll go off the hanger. Like, for real. Um, but I see your money's looking good, Scorpio. So whatever you're working on as far as financially, keep doing it secretly. <laughs> and then the Two of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Lovers came back out. And the Ace of Cups. Some of y'all are uh, meeting new love. Two of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Some of y'all could be, like, moving. Maybe you decided to move, and that's where you're hitting your success at as well and relocated. But I see love coming in. I see a new beginning coming in for you. Some of y'all about to go from single to in a relationship with this deception and envy card here. Spit the deck, nine of wands, ten of pentacles. It's been protected all along. Your money's protected too. I see you kind of guarding yourself because you don't want to be used for your finances. Clip by deception and envy. Three of swords. Now somebody's heartbroken. See, could have been third party connection. Could have been the emperor here. Okay. Aries and uh, Aquarius energy here. It could have been... Somebody you right, might have looked up to, like a father figure or something like that. But somebody, yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Three of Wands. It's like somebody may be wanting to come back towards you or offer you something, but it's taken a long time to get here. This could have took years. And they're wanting to come back. They're wanting to have a conversation. They're wanting to come speak their truth here towards you. But I feel like you've already turned your back on this. You're looking towards the future of, yeah, the strength card. And you're standing firm in that. I'm looking towards the future. I want to see what else is out there for me. The sun. Because this is where I'm happy at. Sorry, y'all. My eyes blurry. This is where I'm happy at. This is where I find my happiness here. Why this three of swords with the deception and envy card? Five of pentacles. Yeah, because there was a third party situation where somebody abandoned you or they got abandoned here. Okay. This could have been somebody went off and thought they were going to have victory elsewhere and they ended up uh, broke. Queen of Pentacles here. The Hierophant, the Eight of Swords. Now they stuck in their head. They secretly stuck in their head about the connection that they had with you of why they didn't work with you, deal with you. Now they want to come apologize because they want this connection back. Got the Hierophant, the Eight of Swords. Stuck a bit. And this is thinking about. Like a connection, a higher level commitment. Some of y'all could have been married or been with this person for a very long time here. The high priestess and the eight of pentacles, they're secretly wanting to work with you, come in, build with you, create with you. Page of cups, two of cups, they want to offer an apology towards this connection. Yeah, six of cups. This is somebody from the past. Want to come in and reconcile with you. I don't know if it's a friendship. Three of pentacles. Hold on, y'all. Let me dismiss the alarm. Three of pentacles. They want to work with you here. Ace of wands. They want a brand new passionate beginning here. But I feel like you've already, you've seen enough. See, they want you to give to them again. Some of you, this person's only coming in because they're going through a financial situation. Their money's looking funny, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, King of Wands, Queen of Cups. Y'all not even, I don't even see y'all on the same levels. I see you kind of like doing your entrepreneurship type of stuff because of the hurt, the pain. And this person, they going through financial issues, financial burdens. Give me one on the Five of Pentacles. Scorpio. Yeah, see? Four cups. Y'all want it. I'm good. That's that. I'm over it. Baby, I wanted it back then, but I don't want it now. King of cups. Yeah, because you know stable, again, turned your back. You know chose to move on, move forward. Turned your back on this connection completely. Turned your back on the past. Your emotions are in check. You're feeling good about yourself. You're not all over the place. If this person had you all over the place, you're not. You're very guarded. You're protecting your... Some of y'all are already in a relationship or you're pregnant. And you're protecting your new beginning, the will of fortune. Yeah. You're like, no, the sign card. Yeah, some of y'all may find out you're pregnant. But you're protecting your new beginning here because you're happy. The light is finally shining on you. It might have taken you a long time to get to this point. You see what I'm saying? Especially if you were dealing with somebody you truly cared about and stuff like that. Again, that eight of wands being sideways, you might have like <clears throat> tried to move on and then might have looked back like, hey, are we really done? Is it really over? And then you kept walking a little bit. Hey, you know, send them a text. Hey. I've been thinking about you, and they, they, they shut you down again. You know, it's that type of energy. Or you might have been doing this. Some of y'all did this for eight years with the Eight of Wands, eight years, eight months. 
some of y'all did it for a long time, but it's like finally you got to this point where you're like, huh, I am finding happiness. I am finding peace without that person. And I am so glad to be here. Let's see. What about movement choices and decisions for Scorpio? Two of Swords. Yeah, somebody's indecisive about moving on. Six of Swords. Somebody, see, somebody's already moving to calmer waters here. Now, this could be you moving on to calmer waters. You're finally in a position where you feel good. You feel calm. You feel great. You know what I'm saying? Ace of Swords, Two of Wands. You might have had to make this decision. You might not have had a choice but to make this decision to move on. Either I'm going to stand here and I'm going to soak and I'm going to sob in this sadness of feeling left out or feeling abandoned. Or I'm going to pick my ass up and I'm going to move on. And I feel like a lot of you, that's what you did. The Hierophant. You learned your lesson. Three of Wands. And you learned, you, as you learned your lesson, you looked at this as a lesson. Like it gave you the keys. She has keys at the bottom of her feet. They placed those keys. Like you, you learned this as, as a lesson. You took those keys and you opened up a new door. You closed the one behind you, you locked it, and then you moved on and went to the new door. And you turned your back on this old thing. And you like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to look out towards the future and see what else there is for me. Some of y'all moved. Like y'all literally le relocated with this three of wands. Like y'all could have moved from one city to another just to start over to have, you know, have a fresh look. Maybe you didn't want to see the same places y'all used to go to, you know what I'm saying, with this other person. Clarify movement choices and decisions. Ace of Cups, yeah. And again, it took you a while. You might have been stagnant for a while on going out there and pursuing new love, Queen of Cups, because of the, the, the betrayal, the deceit, the deception. But I see you doing it. This could be self-love. Yeah, the Hermit, Page of Swords. Now somebody's having to watch you in this solitude energy. The World Card. Some of y'all got a platform. Like an online platform and this person's watching you. And they're disappointed about what they see because you're you're victorious, you're successful. Ten of Pentacles. You're making money, you're doing better, you're more stable. Some of y'all have gotten into a relationship and, you know, got with this person, had children. Or like blending your family together. Like you're you're starting to, Three of Pentacles, you're starting to collaborate with other people. Others of you, if it's not like, you know, children and stuff like that, you're just collaborating as far as work. And you're really making progress here. You're making a lot of money. Like you're about to be very, very successful. Give me one more for movement choices and decisions. Five of Swords. Yeah, again, somebody, it's like somebody, somebody did that bully type of mentality to you of, I'm going to do what I what I need to do by any means necessary. And they were very, it was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of betrayal in that family dynamic here with the Ten of Cups. This could have been, y'all, family members, whatever. But I feel like you found peace. Even though the way that they went about this situation cause that drama and shit like that you found you found peace and divine timing is at work right now and as you found this peace and as you found this healing now you're finally moving on and you're moving forward you're overcoming this situation page of cups and it's like right as you overcome it somebody's looking back well did i make the right choice did i do it the right way five of cups somebody has regrets somebody has regrets King of Wands, because they now see you in your power. They see you very confident. They see you very strong. Two of Cups, and they want that back. No. <laughs> like, no. You don't get to break me down, and then when I build myself back up and put myself back together, you get to come back. That ain't how it works. You know? I mean, we all have free will, but, you know, I just don't like the, I don't like the way they left the situation, because with this Five of Swords, it's like, they caused all kind of conflict. They were willing to hurt you and do whatever they needed to to get to where they wanted to go at the time. And, like, they didn't care what you were going through. You know what I'm saying? They didn't care what you were going through. They didn't care that they hurt. They could have even got other people involved. You see what I'm saying? And they were coming at you, gunning for you here. And now they want to come back and apologize for what? You did what you did and you knew what you did because you it was your actions. You have to think before you do an action, right? Your brain has to process what you're about to do before you do it. So you knew exactly what you were doing. So now that you got to reap the consequences of your actions, I don't want your apology. You know what I'm saying? You should have thought of that before you even did it, you know? Clarify the gratitude card for Scorpio. I'm sorry, but to me, an apology don't mean shit. <laughs> like, It's like you go out, you cheat on me, and then you come back home and say, I'm so sorry for cheating on you. I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to. You didn't mean to, but 
You had to think it out. You planned it out. Where y'all going to go have sex? Where, how you going to travel over there? How you going to... So you mean the entire time? You didn't think of me the entire time? You just went over there and you... You see what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Suffering in silence. <laughs> Eight of swords energy. Somebody stuck in their head. Trapped in fear here. What's going on with Scorpio? And the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny. Something's changing. Some of y'all are getting out of your head finally. It's like, oh gosh, it's a relief. It's, I'm finally letting it go here. The waiting game, you felt like you were stuck. You felt stuck for a while here, Scorpio. But there had to be some type of sacrifice, the hangman and the sun card. Things finally being illuminated to you. Maybe you were stuck on this person for some time here. Fulfillment of wishes. Nine of cups, I'm sorry, nine of pentacles energy. Maybe for a long time you were stuck on this person. But I'm seeing the wheel has been turning and you're starting to realize the things that you're accomplishing without this person or without this situation or without these people, without that job, you know, whatever it is, you're starting to accomplish things and you're being very grateful for that stagnation time. Like, okay, you know what? It wasn't the best. It didn't feel the best, but you know what spirit, universe, God, you know, my savior, whatever your belief is, I thank you because without that stagnation, I would not be accomplishing the things that I'm doing now. You see what I'm saying? Some y'all had to go in the hermit. You know, you had to heal and stuff like that. But during the healing time, you built something very stable. Ace of Pentacles. Clarify trapped in fear for Scorpio. The world card. Yeah, closing out cycle, major cycle coming to an end. And happiness being restored here with this sun card. Things being illuminated to you. You may find out that this person could have went over there and got with somebody. They still cheat. That may be your... your um, your situation here, you may find out something like that and then you're like, you know what? Now I see why the stuff happened the way I happened because I would still be in that position getting cheated on, you know? Clarified trapped in fear. Scorpio. Yeah, queen of swords. You're starting to understand why you had to cut certain things off. Why these major cycles had to come to a close. Knight of Wands. You were dealing with the player, whoever this was. This person's inconsistent. They're very in and out. They couldn't bring stability into your life even if they wanted to. Queen of Cups and the Empress. And within that, you started loving on yourself and you bossed up into the Empress. So this is good. You can be a male or female. The Empress energy is about receiving. You're no longer giving, giving, chasing, going after, doing stuff like that. You're receiving because you healed. You had to work on healing. See, at one point, you were the giver. You were chasing. You were going towards something, you know, trying to fight for something. The Emperor energy, trying to be in control of something. But you finally release and you say, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to let it be. I'm going to let it go. Whatever's meant to me, meant for me is meant for me. And if it comes towards me, it comes towards me. Some of y'all find out y'all pregnant. I'm just, just so you know. Give me the eight of swords energy here for Scorpio. Ten of swords, yep. You're letting it go. You're cutting off anything and it betrayed you, backstabbed you, hurt you. Any type of deception here. Knight of swords. I feel like somebody's not going to be happy about this, though, with this knight of swords. The way you're doing it. Three of wands. But you said, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. So, and yeah, come at me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Come at me, bro, because I got something for you. Block. Like, a lot of y'all going to be blocking people. Like, you just turning your back. See, you done created something. You keep showing up as the Ten of Pentacles. You see what I'm saying? You keep showing up as the Ten of Pentacles. You keep showing up as victory, success, recognition here. So, because you're showing up that way, guess what happens? People want to come try me in, and they want to be like, hey, <laughs> Scorpio, you remember me <laughs> from first grade when we was in the lunchroom and I gave you my little meatloaf? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. That's that's what I'm saying. But then they turned around and tripped you as you was getting up to go throw your tray away. Like, it's that type of... <laughs> Five of ones, <laughs> not a sword. That's what I tell you. What I tell you. <laughs> what I tell you. Somebody that you know been in conflict with and competition with or somebody to put you in competition with here. Here they come, y'all. Get ready. Here they come. The lovers and the uh, five of wands. Somebody to put you in competition with another lover. This could also be people fighting for you. Like, they want you. They see you. They see the value in you. And they're like, dang, I want Scorpio. I want Scorpio. I got to have Scorpio. You're like the hottest, the hottest thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Clarify the will of fortune. The hermit. But you over here minding your... <laughs> I love this. This is such a Scorpio read. You like... I don't care about none of these folks. I'm going home. I'm going to get my snacks. About to put on my favorite show. I'm about to watch me some TV. Okay. Ten of Swords, the Empress. You like, baby, I'm focused on me. 
finna do my nails, okay, I'm finna trim my beard, what, you know what I'm saying, massage my legs, whatever it is, you focused on you, you like, man, look, <laughs> I'm at the end of being hurt, I don't have time to be dealing with people that's, that, that, that ain't, that's trying to, I feel like you're saying to yourself, I'm tired, I'm not dealing with anybody that's trying to manifest anything from the past, the magician, the five of cups, anybody that's trying to conjure up anything, like, oh, I feel regretful, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to, baby, I don't want to hear it. I want to hear it. <laughs> I feel like you're blocking all these people. <laughs> Scorpio. You're like, look, nope, I remember that one time. You know, at that one time you stole my toothbrush and you threw it away and I couldn't brush my teeth. Yeah. Mm, block. <laughs> like, that's the energy I see for you. You're like, nah, I'm good. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to go. Okay, I'm grateful for everything I have. And within, when you start feeling grateful for everything you have and you start to look around, you realize you really don't need anybody or anything. You know what I'm saying? You're like, what I have is enough. And once you get to that point, you're like, yo, when you get to that point, it's so hard for somebody to come at you and match your energy. Hold on, y'all. Let me open this curtain. Because, because you're happy. You know, self-love and being happy with oneself is the most powerful thing you can do. Because it's so hard for a person to come in. See, they got to be in that type of energy, too, before they come towards you. If they codependent on something like that, that shit ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you feel you codependent on my energy, baby, and I'm here, it's not going to work. Clear by the will of fortune, because you're going to get on my nerves. <laughs> I don't want to be under you like that. Clear by the will of fortune. Like, I got stuff to do. Look, five of wands, here it comes. See, you walking away from people because it's you like, yo, look, it's too much conflict. Some of y'all, this is your own family. Oh, bless it. Four of wands. But look, this is why they're coming in. Eight, eight of pentacles. You got your head down. You working. You focused. Some of y'all work from home or you got like an at-home job or an at-home business or something like that. I see you working. But this eight of cups is telling me you're walking away from like people that have not been working with you already. Like if you feel like somebody been coming in causing drama, causing conflict, causing competition in your life that's unnecessary you're like i don't want nothing to do with that i you know y'all keep that over there yep two of wands you like i'm ready <laughs> six of cups especially if it's got to do with past people you're like you already showed me who you are i know who you are the tower see they're not expecting this because this could be like family members that you've known for a very long time or friends that you've known for a very long time the will of fortune now they feel some type of way because you're gonna cut off all access to you like, you're not, you're not contacting them. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want to interact with them. I feel like even if you've seen these folks in the store, you, you'd, like, go the other direction. Because, But that's that's the biggest change. The will is turning in your favor. And you're saying to yourself, well, if things have been changing for me without these people in my life, then there's no way in the world I need them to be in my life right now in my biggest moments. You know what I'm saying? Because they weren't with, they weren't shooting with me in the gym. So why am I going to let them sit on the front row and have the best seats to watch me play ball and they never once supported me? You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm seeing for you. So you're just grateful for the experiences and the lessons that you had. Yeah, Ace of Wands, new beginning here. And the lovers is about choice. You get to choose who has access to you and who doesn't. And that's what you're seeing. You, you, you no longer have access to me. When you had access to me, you mistreated me. And now that you no longer have access to me, now you want to fight for me. But why? why that's what i'm saying for you it's crazy i like it knight of wands knight of cup so of course they're gonna come in with the boo hoo. they're gonna rush in like trying to charm you this could be an ex-lover family members friends foes all that shit okay knight of wands knight of cups knight of swords you got a couple of people here they stressed you know why they stressed because you're no longer giving to them they, now they have the sleep. See, seven of wands. Because you no longer giving to them. Oh, my God. I just heard. Yeah, mama. So some of y'all, this is y'all mama. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate that. For people that's going through, like, relationships with their parents and stuff like that, you know, your parents are supposed to be your biggest supporters. I feel for y'all, for the ones that, that struggle with that. But just know here on this platform, we'll support you. We will support you. I congrat If I see you doing something, I like to congratulate you because that, I don't care what it is. That is amazing that you moved out on your own. That is amazing that you started school or you got that new job or, or you left that one job because it was toxic to you. That is amazing. It, that's a big step for whoever needs to hear that. That is always amazing. And you need to be congratulated for that. I don't care what it is because you left that toxic relationship because you, you let go of that best friend and talk behind your back. Congratulations. That was a big step. That was a big step. 
And I see you defending yourself. And I'm proud of you, Scorpio, doing this because they don't deserve access to you. If somebody was around you before and they took advantage of you and they never appreciated you or valued you, why allow them to come towards you now that you're being more successful, that you have more things happening in your life? Like you could have literally went from like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you weren't in the best spot in your life at this point and you moved on, you worked on yourself. Now you're a more healed version of yourself. Now you're more happy. You're more fulfilled. Don't let the past people come in and, and, and mess that up for you. Sometimes... Ten of Cups. Because you're building your own family. Some of y'all, y'all done released your whole damn family. You're building your own soul tribe here with this Ten of Cups. Like, you're like, the only family I need is this right here. I see that for y'all. And you should defend it because you deserve that happiness. That ten, Whatever that Ten of Cups is for you. Because Ten of Cups don't have to be like family and kids, okay? Because not everybody want no kids running around the house, honey. I be looking at mine sometimes like, I can't believe I gave birth to you. But I love you. You are my everything. But man... You on my last nerve. Like, you really riding it. <laughs> but they're your kids. And I'm just like, but I love y'all. Y'all are what I fight for every day. You know what I'm saying? But, baby, if I got to tell you to get out of my couch one more time, stop jumping on my couch. You about to be in your bedroom looking real sad with no TV. <laughs> that's how it is. But, you know, that's, that's parent life. Parent life. You only understand if you're a parent. Like, when saying stuff like that, you only understand when you're a parent. But... <laughs> But yeah, Scorpio, keep doing you, baby. Y'all are doing good. It's all right. Let people, the people of the past that mistreated you and didn't take advantage of you, I mean, that took advantage of you and mistreated you and used you and all that stuff, leave them where they at. Look at how, look at how much better you're doing. Oh, my nose is starting to itch. Look at how much better you're doing now without them in your life. You never would have got there if you didn't have that fuel and that hurt and that pain from that situation to get to where you are. So... All right, last message from my Scorpios. Yeah, we got mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Yeah, you're you're up the mountain. You're going up the mountain. You see things you've never seen before. You're even even when you're at the top of the mountain, there's still challenges, y'all. Y'all got to come down on the other side and to go to the next mountain. You know what I'm saying? There's still gonna be challenges. Yeah, you might have left a couple people back there, but there's still other hurdles you got to go through. And there's it's always like that in life, you know. Sometimes people from the past return, sometimes past situations, past traumas, conflicts, stuff like that return. But it's about how you handle the situation. You know what I'm saying? Thorns. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. So just know you can make it through this. You know, look at look at all the stuff you've already made it through. You know what I'm saying? Just what I said, more money, more problems, right? So even if you are making more problems, yeah, there's still, I mean, more money, there's still gonna be more problems that come of it. You got more expensive bills. You got more taxes to pay, stuff like that. You know, you got more people wanting to come hang out with you and stuff like that. But it, use your discernment. That's all I can say. Use your discernment, especially when it comes to people coming from the past. Why are you coming back in my life? And you know you mistreated me back then. Why? You know what I'm saying? But this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.